Hey, my little pumpkins. We are very, very early on in this process, but as you saw in the opening video, we are trying to recreate Elephant Springs from Fort Worth Zoo in Texas, so I think that is a wonderful laid out habitat. I, I don't even think it's barely a year old if I'm, I'm thinking it's just a little over a year old. And uh, I just, when I saw that kind of just trolling around, I actually saw it on a Pinterest board of zoo ideas or zoo concept art. And I was like, what the, and I went and started looking, um, just Googling Fort Worth Zoo. And then I jumped on YouTube and was seeing if anybody had any walkthroughs of it. And I just, uh, went down the rabbit hole of just fanning over this attraction. And I thought, you know, we could style this. I think we could make this work in Planet Zoo. So we're not doing like a one-to-one -one scale recreation here, but I just wanted to try the vibe of a more realistic, because remember, that's kind of what we're switching stuff over to, a more realistic Indian elephant habitat. Because you remember before, the Indian elephants were, they've been moved all over this zoo. This was their original spot. Then they moved over to Leafs River Walk. And now they are back over here and they won't be alone. Um, if you'll notice in the video, uh, Fort Worth, the whole Elephant Springs area also has Indian rhinos. So I want to get them a little section going. Um, I just, I, I kind of want to try this whole little area over here as kind of like Suyana's Elephant Springs. And uh, the, the only thing I, the only thing I kind of, I don't really regret it, but if I could, if I, if, if I could do anything, I'm, I may would shift this back this way a little, but I was thinking too, I could also just make this the rhino area. Like, you know, the, the rhinos are first, that's the first thing you come to. And then you get pulled back in here further to get back here to the elephants actually in, um, elephant spring. So like I said, this is, uh, <laughs> she's getting a little, she's getting a little splash. This is early, early on, early design. There's still a lot more detailing to do. Um, obviously, I've, I've just kind of got them halfway pinned in right now with this hill, but that's probably going to end up changing. I've got one of their little shade structures right here that kind of looks like what they really have in Texas. And uh, they enjoy the water. They go down into the springs a lot. They're throwing around dirt. I'm going to get them some little mud pits over here. Um, they seem like they can get up and out of the water pretty well. Um, the only thing, I do have this barricade spot um, right here. And in actual Fort Worth, it's not so pronounced, but I think they keep them separated. Like, I think they keep the males and the females in it, you know, like they, they share the same body of water, but they move them back and forth. They, they a lot of times, it seems like they don't let them mingle completely together. I don't know if maybe that's for breeding purposes or controlling breeding or, um, you know, I, I'm not sure. I didn't research it that much, but there definitely is a little like log that sticks out right here that separates the animals from each other. So they're like a couple together. And I'm not sure if maybe the two males are separated. I'll have to look into that a little more, but like I said, they share the same pool, but their, their habitat is a little separated. So even back here, we might have to put up some fencing or a, a transport gate. But yeah, so that is kind of what is going on with Suyana these last, this is probably about last week or so. Um, this is like the early version of the guest viewing platforms. So they can, you can see even in here in our digital world, they can get a pretty good look, even when the animals are down in the water or over there shading. Really, really fun design to kind of come in here and try to emulate. Really private back over here, too. So that's, you know, I think that's a that's kind of a cool little allure to to Elephant Springs. It's kind of almost like a little mystery back there. You almost have to you almost have to like go on an adventure back there to find it. You know, see, I even like from all the way back here, it's hidden. So it really kind of kind of brings out that exploration, um, you know, that you'd like to find in zoos where 
you kind of do have to go out and explore and everything's not just like handed to you and they're the animals. It's uh, I think I think that's what's a really cool trait about Suyana is there is there's so much vegetation cover um, that it 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 really like um, it really almost like I said it, it requires adventure and exploration like you just you all you just really don't know what's around each turn um, until you're right up on it. Here's our little llamas. These are the, this is the official Suyana Llama pin. <laughs> we should have Suyana Llama shirts. I'm thinking about now that I'm re-monetized uh, again and they'll let me do it again. I'm thinking about opening up my shops, but I'm thinking about maybe getting a Spotify shop or something and maybe doing like Simply Savannah does and actually reaching out to an artist instead of just doing it myself and um, trying to figure out some really cool uh, t-shirt designs and mug designs. And I don't know, may, 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 I might be able to come up with some cool designs now that I have a Canva uh, subscription. Um, they make it really, really easy to get in and do like, um, you know, custom custom designs, uh, custom layouts. So I don't know, we, we might have to give that a look. But uh, I definitely am thinking about wanting to get in and like relaunch the t-shirts. But do it in a more professional way and uh, definitely have some more like customized elements of Lost Creek, Little Creek, Suyana, uh, Pine Creek. Wouldn't that be cool? Like if I reached out to an artist on, you know, wherever, Fiverr or whatever, and, uh, and tried to, if I could find a really cool, reliable one that could make me some really just awesome custom you know, Planet Zoo identifiable shirts. I think that'd be really cool. Um, remember, we actually removed all of the uh, African elephant area over here, so we still have this massive kind of open canvas right here that kind of butts up against Poison Blade and uh, Bold's awesome uh, habitats they, they did for me. We've got this big open lake now, kind of like big open pond. Still got to work on that. Um, we've got to get back in, and I've, I've got some really cool ideas for some exhibits right here. And then, of course, the whole Elephant Springs area um, up here. We can restart the uh, the jung, you know, the four by four ride. I was thinking this would be a cool corner for that, kind of like how Herman had it, but put my own little spin on it. Because um, you can see, even down here, we still have the station. And everything but I just kind of got rid of all that back through there so definitely have plans for a 4x4 ride back in this area um, now that especially no we, we know we've got the lions settled we've got the African elephants settled with their new habitat just all of this just looks so much better than what I originally had um, the giraffes and zebras they are settled they have their massive massive exhibit huge footprint of an exhibit right here. Just really, really happy with how all this turned out. Pretty level exhibit, not a lot of hills, not a lot of undulation through that way. And what else do we have? Remember over here, we still have the floating mountains. So still, still think this area looks pretty cool. No reason to really demo any of this. Still a pretty popular area with the guests. Um, remember, Simply Savannah did the Dwarf Caimans over there for me off to the right. We've got the uh, kind of like the Gorilla Mountains over here through the glass. Really, really awesome gorilla exhibit over here. Kind of up on their hill. So yeah, really, really happy with even as old as that is. Still a really cool, cool section of the of the park. And we've got the, the rapids over here. Could use those. and I need to use those in some exhibit at some point, too. Um, and then, as you make your way further out, remember, we get out here to Leafs River Walk. This is where the temporary home to the Indian elephants were. But I figure even just walking through here, 
um, as, as dense as we have the foliage and as cool as the rock work and the water work came out, this could just be a regular nature trail where we don't have to have um, animals the whole way down through there. I mean, just imagine just walking by and just looking at the the jungle, the jungle scenery and the waterfalls. Um, make your way out through here. We've got the uh, import drink. We've got the tropical imports. You could stop and get drinks. Look, I still have some elephants over here. And I do not know how chimpanzees got over here. So we've got river otters, chimpanzees. <laughs> we've got the Indian elephants. We've got some tapirs. That is what I call mixed habitat. And this is just a fun area. Got another little gift shop back here. Um, we've got some more Malayan tapirs over here. Uh, back here is where the original chimpanzees were supposed to be. There are a couple of them still back here taking a nap, but I think most of them have made their way up to the water. Up to the waterfall. But still, like I said, still a really fun area on the back side of Pea Blades Mountain. So yeah, like I said, I put I put it on Twitter a couple days ago. Suyana, I think, has changed more than any zoo we have. This is just this is just a lot of change, isn't it? Still absolutely adore the parking lot Remnant did for me. And the whole just entrance area. Almost, this is a custom little sign bold did. Um, just really has that awesome Islands of Adventure vibe that I was going for. Remnant just totally just picked that out of my brain. And then some of our newest residents, the Komodo Dragons. Be so cool to have bird shows and stuff here eventually, though. Remember, there's Woody's uh, aviary with the little macaws in there. Such a fun little idea. And now, you know, Woody didn't know when he built that like two years ago, we really may get birds. I am just really on. Um, I'm just really on Team Bird now that we know that they we know it's possible you know, as far as the bats go, as far as the Egyptian fruit bats go, um, you know, I was telling Leaf asked today in a Twitter post, do we think that we're going to get an anniversary update here in like three weeks, two weeks? And I said, I doubt it, but it would be really, really cool if, uh, if they would drop maybe a bird or two on us. Cause remember last year they dropped like a couple little monkeys on us, or I think they gave you guys some kind of little, um, what do they call it? Like, a, didn't they give you some kind of different colored meerkat for the anniversary update? I was thinking like, what if they would give us like a couple little birds? And then one of my buddies chimed in. I didn't even think, but he was like, you know, that's totally not completely dumb because they gave regular non-DLC, they gave base game players the large exhibit. Even though you can't use the bat, Unless you buy the DLC, everybody still gets the large exhibit. So that's what led us to believe we're like, dang, what if they do give us, what if they do give everybody a couple birds in like update 1.12 or something, you know, at the beginning of November, just like a little surprise anniversary update, kind of what Leaf was talking about. I was like, mm, <laughs> that doesn't. Maybe that doesn't sound so far-fetched. But anyways, guys, I know I've rambled on here a little bit. It is easy to ramble and get lost in Suyana. It's just one of those zoos that does that to us. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on Elephant Springs. If you think I did a good job on this little part, if you're excited to kind of see it develop more. And uh, yeah, just let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up if you ended up enjoying this video. And uh, we will leave you here with Bold's Jaguar Cafe. Still my favorite restaurant in all the zoo. <laughs> and uh, yep, I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good rest of your week.